to move Nick, around. Uh, you you talked about this at the start of the draft, right? If there's an Irritel into Bruno, Bruno, you are looking to bully out the Irritel early on. Yep. So expect to see Pancake actually hover around. Put that for game one. Really interesting. Sapa going in, uh, Sapa going into the mid lane to hit level four. Gord is going to hit level four off this. And that is Gage. Flicker from Sapa straight on the Pancake. It's going to be the stolen flick uh, penalty zone, but it, it doesn't really matter. And Salang or Janice, they do not have the damage to fight this. Super Sky does get the turtle, but at what cost? He's gonna lose his life to Warlord. And Homeboy is just cool, come collected for two kills. Yeah, very interestingly played by the side of Homeboys. It feels like they purposely staggered their engagement. I'm loving it. I think, you know, Super Skies has played this well. His jungle pathing is very clear, making sure that the top side is clear for no way. Oh, the kick! The good kick, straight on to Pancake. Super Ray forced away from the fight, and there it is, Mystic Guys to finish him off. And this time, Super Skies will not get the turtle chibi. With the quick fingers to secure that objective, Super Go just late to the scene. The clean oh. kick on towards Pancake, denying Salango Red Giants. They're only engaged, one of their only engaged tools, and that puts them at such a disadvantage. And oh. at least gets Zoro, the fire sticks, brings him back into the Mystic Gush. At least some retribution for SRG. Because SRG just wants the scale, and it's clear that they're focused around Super Red this game. Super Red able to leap away from the penalty zone, but there's still Zoro and Chibi around, and Pancake, he might have to be sacrificed this time. So, Small price to pay for SRG. Super Zack does show up and steal the penalty zone for himself. With Super Gojas being around the area, Ryzo looking to break that bottom tier too, and he's gonna be successful in doing so. At least bring it down low. Chibi now finds Super Gojas without the Fraga armor. He's gonna try and flick into safety, but a bit too late. He ends up going down, and Zone, he doesn't even die. Super Ray and Super Zack just do not have the damage to fight homeboys. Yep, right Best now, homeboy. Deal with, so you might as well have the extra HP in case somebody can help out. Oh. Ryzo doesn't get knocked up by the Minoa Fury, but then he's gonna power everything on him. They need him dead. That's four ultimates, five ultimates expended for Bruno. Now, can they survive the long fight? Zorn flickers to safety as Subbot is going to show up with the flicker to the back. As now the fight splits into two. Pancake drops both Subbot looking to finish him off. And he is mostly going to go down. It's two for old boys, but Super Skies, he's not done just yet. Wolo is the third. He gets knocked out by Chibi. Kick underneath the tier one by Zorn, who shows up out of nowhere. Super Skies, Phantom oh. Execution explodes to Subbot. And Far away from his third item might actually turn this around. And and you can also commend the fact that SRG, the jungler, has to make a lot of space around the map. Oh. And they might lose Pancake this time. He's gonna get kicked back. Can he produce oh. the ultimate? The stolen penalty zone to the bag. But they really lost Pancake. Super Goji is trying to zone out Warlord and he explodes on top of him. Super Zack isolated. Super Skies himself also finds it hard to enter the fight. Super Zack will be the first to go. But Ryzo does drop though. Super Red picks him off and ends up getting traded back. So Homeboy still ends up winning the fight 3 to 2. Oh, that was so close from the side of SRG, but Homeboys, they played it well. The cap it fell by SRG. Homeboys still posturing for the Lord. Super Red is going to go on to the wall, trying to run him down. Forced to get away, now Paul the Purify to get rid of the penalty zone, and Subbot might be the first to go. Still tanking up, Subbot! You kidding me? Finally drops, but it's just the immortality. Appraisal spread by Chibi, landing on the Super Skies, who will dash out with the puncture. Oh! And now Kyrie again with Super Zag with the penalty zone, stolen away, but there's still not enough damage for SRG. In fact, Homeboys, they're slowly recovering, and they are starting on this Lord. Yep, they're calling it off here. Super Red, he doesn't have any of his abilities. He can't just chunk everybody down. Super Gojas, Immortality, you. Super Sky goes, he gets kicked! Can't even use the Retribution! Zorn has been saving that Roundhouse Kick for 10 years just to find this last slot. Uh, and hope any of that right now. And Homeboys, just, just playing it really clean. Oh! And there it is, Flicker K on the pancake again, and Sepa dies straight to the back with Chibi by his side. Super Zack down low, he's gonna be able to get escape, but Pancake will lose the immortality. Super Sky is also able to dash in, and now, but Pancake will be the first to go. Homeboys again surviving with the full squad. Lord still fairly healthy. They have to make something happen if you're SRG. Last time they use blows up Chibi's immortality. Super Go just able to back off, and they take care of time. I think Homeboys recognize that even with the Lord, it can be tough. They're trying to bait SRG into a fight. Top and bottom wave are slowly stacking up. Oh. And there's gonna be three men on the side of homeboys. Isn't that bush? Dash to take on the pancake again to the missing gut. Pancake this time walks away. Rise up with the target, pops and wins of nature. They're gonna go on him. Baby no fury for pancake using that flicker. They finally got him in. Oh, rise out. They get the with the target out of GB. They need a bit more damage. GB is low. Finally! Finally gunned down by Super Red. Super Gojas, he's gonna be happy throwing his life away this time. With Super Red by his side, Warlord. Gotta watch out. Is he gonna go in? Warlord. Super Red leaps in, tries to find a kill. Winter Trunk didn't use. Warlord still dies. Whoa. SRG finds three kills. Huge! But this responsibility as a gold laner in this particular game, for the homeboys, it's a little bit easier, but for SRG, way, way harder. Like, Super Red right now is playing 
very good MLB beat, and more importantly so, he's positioning himself so that Homeboy's trying to posture for him, breaking their front line away. It's an even game now, all the inhibitors will be down Homeboy's side. SRG, is it time just yet? They're posturing Pancake oh. to the back, Rizo again, forced away. He's gonna try and take him now, but Pancake ends up falling. Salang on Red Giants, what is gonna be the target? Zorn fights the knockdown to Super Raider, to it now, but no! At the very least, again, same, same concept, two anchors, one guy to protect. Don't have to worry about anything else. And, and, and actually does some some serious damage. Isn't really a bad option, right? You get your damage faster and you still get to do the same thing. Yeah, but is it efficient? That's the problem. I feel like a lot of this time... Oh, oh there's that shadow kill. No way! Extreme hey. Emperor's of Home Boys. You can't stop him. Super Skies with the first Super Red. Bring him down low. Forcing the Rody out as well. Meanwhile, bottom side, Super Goji has popped that ultimate to the time of Raph on. Forcing oh, the Super dead. Supply. And Super Supply is going to be dead. This guy picks that up by actually giving over the Super Gojas. Can Chibi at least get something in return? Super Gojas will flicker the safety and he is fine. Uh, 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 that we saw earlier not. anymore. Definitely not. All things considered, Chibi is one level ahead, so that's good news, but might not be good news for Walla oh, though. Shadow no. kill this time, bouncing over to Rizo. Not the target that you want tanking the damage up, but it's enough to keep Walla al arrive. Oh. alive. Whoa. Yeah. Astro Echo is going to be landing. Rizo taking a big chunk. Oh! Damage, and I'm losing Super Skies. Good counter engage from Suppa with a penalty zone, and it's a double kill for Chibi. Yep, nice catch all across the board here. Very well for their, main, their main game plan. They're going to start sieging them down. Oh. Uh, flicker, wall charge Ooh. into a Mystic Gush. Go to Flickers! Primal Bomb gets huh? the shoe. Huh? That's going to be a spell, but he's still staying alive. Chibi, once he's dead, it's taking a bit longer than he should have. Finally gets the kill. Pancake shows up, but there's no damage from Slang or Red Giants. Maybe Super Sky can turn this around straight to the back for the OG Shadow Kill. Who's gonna bounce through though? Ryzo taking the front of the damage. The Shuriken's not enough. Super Skies can't find any trades. Ah, oh, he could even. Same exact scenario. Thorin's gonna eat up those shots, no problem. Yeah, and I think even for Super Zack, he recognizes that, like, man, this is difficult. I can hit as many shots as I want, but if I don't hit the right targets. Oh, oh like right that now. one! Oh, the bounce is gonna be there. Super Skies finds the kill. Get the knockout onto Zorn. Tanking around the corner. Super Gold just might be. Sacrifice though, just walks to the side of the wall. Still has that ultimate, now he's gonna pop in, start doing some damage, hitting back out with the Primal Wrath form as Zorn gets zoned away by Pancake. Super Sky is waiting for an opportunity. Chibi looks like a juicy target, he's taking a lot of damage. Super Sky back here, oh! Pancake's over the front, landing on the only Pancake and Super Gojas, and that's not enough. Zorn shows up no with a flick of wild trust, starting three members of SRG, but at the end of the day, SRG walks away. Oh. SRG looking to reset the Lord. Oh. Reset it just a little bit. Yeah, I think it's totally fine here. Resetting Lord, I mean, homeboys, they want to fight, but just notice that when the waves are currently, may not necessarily be in their favor. Oh. Yeah, they, they see Zorn coming in, and Super Goja did his best. Pancake will lose that immortality. Super Sky tries to go to the back, ends up getting crowd control. Force the people away, blocked up by the wall. We'll be able to get rid of this Lord, no problem. It's a, not a tough task for SRG. They do have slightly better wave clear. Uh, in this game. Super Gojas will have to use that ult though to make that happen. And then homeboys are looking to crack open this final inhibitor. Even with the engaged Zippat, it's the penalty zone on the Super Red. Chibi's gonna be dead. Super Red is dead. Homeboy showing SRG how it's done with the dive. Super Skies wants to get some kill, but he's taking massive in for Rise Down in the RNG this time, bouncing to everyone on the side of homeboys. And he will be shut down. Difficult, difficult for SRG to get into the middle of that fight. Great engage coming in from the homeboys, like a great eye coming in from Sunpai. At least he communicated it well so that Chibi can follow it up to make sure that Super Red really feels the pressure, utilizing all of his spells. Oh boy, can homeboys end this SRG? They're gonna be back. Need a bit more time for them though. Pancake will be gone on Super Zack. Back into the fountain. Pancake dies to the Mystic Guard. Zorn will tank that out with the immortality. Homeboys looking for the end! And it's not done. And I mean, as, as much as we say that he can, you know, help disengage, it doesn't mean that he's not susceptible to getting jumped on, right? If he is out of position, he gets one shot at also. So we have the glue on the side of homeboys, which, to be fair, he doesn't really have the, the, the kind of the, the purifier, right? The purifier for the Valir. They do fight first blood on mid, though. Subbat to raise the scrap, but not on the Subbat, though. Subbat sticking on the Super Skies. The rest of homeboys looking for an opportunity to counter engage. Zorn trying to block Zach, Super Zack off, but he just goes over the wall with the Astro Recall, and it's going to be another kill going over to SRG. Oh, I mean, they were so blind in terms of like, how the matchup goes. Very similar to how the EXP lane actually goes. Oh, oh no. my god, Super Red tries to go for the Somersault, but ends up dying. So that's the kill you want. Okay, okay, he wants to clear up this way, but he might get punished for this as SRG is coming in. Siri Corin pushing back, Rizo pushed straight into the Fredrin. Zorn uses oh. one to block everything! And he still ends up going down the appraisal's wrath just enough. When you think that Rizo is up, 
We see if Sopa steals this, steals this again. That's what we call use again. Now Flicker straight to the back. GB! Now oh, he's gonna get it, no problem. Super Boy is gonna stop him in time. Super Skies will go in for the kill. GB goes down, but Turtle goes over to Homeboys. Nicely done. He, again, he time, and it's, he can't really do much. And even though Sopa has died twice, he's still pretty tanky. So Kuro just has to stop this dive. He tries to use a penalty zone, gets knocked up into the air by the Wild Charge, and ends up dying. So Homeboys getting the punish. Uh, he had to pull back a couple of paces there, but inevitably, and it's, just, it's just volatile. It goes back and forth. Here we go. Here we go. Where's the Dark Knight Falls? Nice. Oh, there it is. GB against Super Gojas with the engagement. GB! Oh, he just walks in and steals the turtle. Super Gojas, he has done his best, but it's not enough to keep GB away. After all, he's going to praise the Not the hitbox. Not big enough. Pack and flickers forward to find a kill. Can't find it, but Wallow will drop to Super Gojas. That slams him in the face with a big hammer. Ryzel needs to run away. Pancake too close to the no. stun. Ryzel dashes. Super Go just can't get in range, but does find the damage. Ryzel dashes to the side, makes it up with his life. Zorin is going to be able to block this shot, no problem. It's and hope down the bag. Because so far, they have the exact same game plan, but the only big difference is that GB has been able to be stealing away these neutral objectives away from SRG, even though they have first position on it. It's oh, just whoa. a waste of time, but finally, we'll be taken out by the Prince of Wrath. Two oh. things was stolen also. So there is a second form of engage from Homeboys on the side of Warlord. Zorin losing a lot of power, there it is. Penalty zone stolen by Warlord. They're gonna Put everything on Super Sky to kill him off. Super Go just laid on the penalty zone. The back like completely exposed and Super Zack is dead. GB jumps onto him. Zorin's not gonna even go down. Homeboys have found the big team fight. And they might get more pancake down low. Homeboys fight three kills and the Lord. Lord. Just about the immortality. The butt as well. So both the meat shields have second life. Lord will crash on the bottom side. Zorin's gonna flicker it. Get the ball shot onto Super Go just only. The butt reaches to the back. Use the actual echo, so by taking massive damage, that's the immortality gone. GB now switches off the light, goes to the back, tries to go for the one shot, can't buy any, gets bursted out! And that's exactly what SRG are looking for. Two dead with homeboys, and SRG home. An attempt was made, and we see the idea yeah, completely, yeah. really difficult. Once he turns off the lights, he's able to kind of run around from any angle he wants, and that's also applied to the rest of his team. And Walla instantly engages with Zorin, now Super Gojas with a counter against Predator Zone to the back, but it doesn't matter against Super Skies, he gets shredded! Before the rest of SRG are ready, can they at least get something in return? Super Ray won't try. The Total Power Memory only finding one kill. Super Go just loses his immortality and his life. It's the rest of SRG, they will have to back off from this. Where they really like to play it slow and low. Oh! Pancake, he's gonna be forced to flick away. Super Go just even using the penalty zone. And now this bad news for SRG. Homeboy, they're just gonna pincer them. The front line does not exist for SRG in this game. Super Ray is trying his best. Pancake, he's stuck. And this, this could be it for homeboys. Ryzo finds the shot. Warlord, he's gonna pick a forward. Super Red. There will never be a moment other than this. But it seems like that moment will never come. He finds the kill into Warlord. But there's four members of homeboys that he needs to go through. With only Super Zag by his side. Midwave shoving in. They don't have the best wave clear. Homeboys, they have all the tools that they need to end this game. Super Zag needs to keep this alive, but it's not possible. Homeboys, they're gonna deliver the second loss to SRG. Woo! Slow and low, that's the way to play the game, folks.